let's just see what happens when we do exactly what the rainbow flag tells us to do, and that is integration and syncretism and combining spirituality and sexuality and demonism and environmentalism and rebellion into one consistent summary. And here's what we get. We get darkness. Friends, this is not progress, this is darkness. I just want to point out the crowd saying, oh wow, as if that was some shocking revelation. (laughs) According to the Colorado GOP, the pride flag is so dirty, as you saw there, it needs to be burned. Earlier this week, the Colorado Republican Party sent out an extremely homophobic email that included a link to that sermon you just saw from Pastor Mark Driscoll. And you can see the imagery from that email here. The email went on to state, the month of June has arrived. And once again, the godless groomers in our society want to attack what is decent, holy, and righteous so they can ultimately harm our children. Throughout June, we will share more sermons from Pastor Driscoll and encourage all to listen to his messages and resist the evil that is trying to indoctrinate children, undermine parents, and harm families. Thank you, and as we said last year, together we can protect our children in future, but only if you get involved and defend the most vulnerable in our society from these woke creeps. It was signed by Chairman Dave Williams and included a PS to reread their anti-pride email from last year. And remember, God hates pride. In response to the initial coverage of this email, the Colorado Republican Party posted this on Twitter. Burn all the hashtag pride flags this June. The homophobia from the Colorado GOP isn't new, but it's definitely getting pushback even from people in their own party. Vladimir Archuleta, congressional candidate and president of Colorado's log cabin Republicans was quick to renounce the party's email. Yesterday, the Colorado State GOP sent out an email with the subject line, God hates pride. I have been an avid critic of where the celebration of pride has gone in recent years and a firm supporter of protecting children from environments and entertainments that are of an adult nature. However, this email went too far and was just hateful. I personally found it very troubling. I spoke with many LGBT and non LGBT Republicans yesterday who also found the message in the email disgusting and offensive. This email does not represent the Republican voters of Colorado. Archuleta, who is openly gay, also announced that because of this email, he is no longer accepting the party's endorsement in his congressional run. In response, Dave Williams doubled down, telling Huffington Post, we make no apologies for saying God hates pride or pride flags as it's an agenda that harms children and undermines parental authority. And the only backlash we see is coming from radical Democrats, the fake news media, and weak Republicans who bow down at the feet of leftist cancel culture. Williams added the party will work with state legislators and pursue ballot initiatives to try to block access to gender affirming care for children in the state. I mean, the the attacks on the LGBTQ community and Pride Month in general really have escalated over the past couple years. This is just disgusting, it's just, it's patently offensive. Pausing here to deliver some honest truth as we do in our news coverage as well. TYT is facing challenges, guys, as the entire industry is. You know who could make the difference? You. If you hit the join button below, it's gonna make all the difference and keep us in business. We appreciate you, thank you. I don't even think we showed the graphic yet, but that from that fundraising email, can we put that up? Cuz I think that's important context here. Um, you have that. Yeah. So this was that. That's the link to the sort of ridiculous and very funny uh, sermon there. It says, "God hates flags." Now, I remember uh, that that's very close to an anti-gay slogan uh, with a slur in it, and that's not by accident. Saying "God hates flags," "God hates pride," both of those things are just hearkening back to that anti-gay slogan with a slur in it. Let's not get it twisted, that's exactly what it's meant to do. Um, that's what it is for. Um, I, I, it's, it's so over the top, I think, okay, one serious thought and then one fun, I mean, sort of lighthearted thought, but like the serious thought is like, uh, you know, back in 2015, when Donald Trump's running for president, there was sort of an opening to LGBTQ 
Republicans, right? A number of them were sort of like surrogates for him, those whose names I don't care to remember. <laughs> there was a Yiannopoulos at some point. <laughs> you know, uh, there was a lot of them, and they would stand for Donald Trump. Yes, they happened to be um, well off. They were white guys, right? Um, there weren't a lot of like, you know, lesbians stumping for him or like people of color and whatnot. But, you know, they were still an archetype. But it was sort of seen like, hey, maybe the GOP is. Turning the page on this and the log cabin Republicans, which have been around for a lot, a lot longer, um, are evidence of that. And then something shifted, and I think it's uh, emblematic of how desperate the GOP has become and how much they're grasping at these old fights and they're trying to refight them because they have literally nothing else to like, no other boogeymen to erect. So like, well, let's just go back to the gays, you know. And so log cabin Republicans have been kicked out of conventions. I believe it was in Texas, uh, and so on and so forth. And lastly. All the hate on Pride Month, doesn't it just remind you that it's pride and everyone should be happy and celebrating, going out and partying? Like all, like June, the right is making June even more Pride Month than it already is. Like if you didn't know it was Pride, you definitely know now. They're doing, I think, um, I don't know, the Lord's work really of uh, branding here. I honestly don't know why anybody cares about who's with who. I mean, it's just like, I, I, I say it all the time. If somebody's happy in a relationship, that's that's a huge victory. You know how many people are unhappy in relationships? <laughs> you know how many, you know what I'm saying? If someone's happy in a relationship, whether it's gay, straight, LG, I don't care what it is, you should be happy for that person. And these people, like you said, Francesca, they go after the boogeyman. And usually the boogeyman is a minority. It's a smaller group, and they, they can definitely uh, uh, bo uh, you know team up on that group and say that this group is, here's the problem. The problem is gay people. And okay. this has been going on for thousands of years. The fact that we're in 2024 and these people can still do this. First of all, that video was ridiculous. I thought he was going to make a margarita or like a, <laughs> like a cosmopolitan and be like, it's gay pride month. Hey. You know, I, that's, I thought that's where he was going with it. I was like, oh, this is what a, what a cool way to you know celebrate gay umbrella. pride. That is, yeah, he's like, it's black. And he's like, and that's why black gay people are the worst. I mean, it's like, what are you talking about? What, what kind of dumb, just stupid backwards mentality. And anytime someone says God hates or God doesn't, God told me to do this, that just is saying I'm a closed minded person and you can only believe in what I believe. So I'm gonna say that God told me that that guy is uh, in the closet. He's probably closeted and th therefore he's making his little concoction of, of liquids to somehow uh, convince himself not to admit to the fact that he's in the closet. And one last thing I will say, I had a conversation with these guys who were saying to me, they go, hey, you know, I'm cool with gay people being gay, but why do they have to have a pride month? Why do they get a whole month? <laughs> I'm trying to explain to them, I go, the whole point is, cause I have, I have, you know, friends that have come out later in life and the yeah. damage it did to them earlier in life because of the unacceptance in their families and in their community th that did major damage. And I was, trying to I was trying to explain to these people, I said, the reason they call it Pride Month is because it's still to this day, it's called in the closet. Like you're, in the, you're hiding in the closet. And the idea is that it's okay to be whoever you are and you want people to know that from a young age. And it's unfortunate that there's still a lot of families and a lot of communities who don't uh, uh, um, uh, relay, relate that image, uh, I'm sorry, that, that, that message to their, their loved ones at any age. Like you should tell your loved ones, your children at any age that you are perfect and I love you whoever you are and it's unfortunate. And that's why I was trying to explain to them, the reason you have, you have Pride Month, part of it is to say, hey, it's okay. You know, if that's what you are, it's okay to, to be that. And, and, and so, these people that are fighting Pride Month and why do they get their own month? Why don't I get my own month? Because you've had 2000 years of being told that you're okay when you really weren't. You've had a lot of issues and problems that you've created and caused and continue to cause. And I'll go back to problem number one is your stupid analogy with all the mixing of the liquids. Um, uh, it's, uh, you, don't get a, you don't get your own month. <laughs> If you're, if you're that stupid. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get
playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.